Hey, good morning everyone and welcome to Short Sale Power Hour. Well, it's not really morning, but anyway, shortsalepowerhour.com. It's morning somewhere. That's right, it's morning somewhere. <laughs> hey, my name's Fred Weaver, my partner Kevin Coffin's behind the camera, and I'm joined by my good buddy here, Ronnie, Ronnie Doss. Doss. That's me. Uh, formerly from Georgia and North Carolina, now residing in Colorado That's and right. soon to be in Los Angeles, California. Don't know about all that, but okay. maybe. Maybe, okay. Did you say that? I anyway. did, in case your wife watches this or something, <laughs> That's maybe. So, hey guys, uh, it's Mindset Monday, and uh, y'all came today for a little inspiration. And you know what? Ronnie probably doesn't know a darn thing about short sales. Actually, I take that back. He does. He's invested in a lot of real estate over the years. But I don't have him here to tell you how to close short sales today. I want to just, you know, pick this man's brain a little bit around business and, and mindset in general. And Ronnie, I know you travel all around the country. You do a lot of speaking engagements. Uh, you were on the road like 15 plus days last month. And you talk to a lot of people, man. And yeah. you do a lot of trainings. And I'm just curious, you know, what, what do you see going on out there in the minds of people, business people? And what is a message that, uh, that you think they need to hear? I think the big thing a lot of people are carrying around is resentment because the results they thought they were going to produce or something that they thought was going to happen in their life has not necessarily happened. And so what's happening is as, as a result of, of letdown, disappointment and so forth, uh, what's happening is people are getting frustrated. And that frustration is carrying on into their uh, physical health, how they're treating themselves, how they're treating their spouse, how they're treating their children, uh, their relationships, on their job, in their business. And, and it's changing a lot of the dynamics of, of uh, what we're producing, I think, as a country, uh, as a whole. I think a lot of people are frustrated overall, and I think that they're not doing the things that they, they used to think were going to be easy for them or the things that were going to happen. So there's this disappointment, a little bit of letdown, and it's turned into resentment. And they're carrying a lot of bitterness and frustration around, and uh, it's affecting every area of their life. You know, I, and I think we all deal with that at some level or another. You know, some people stay in that for decades. And some people never get out of it, but it, you know, some of us, I can, I can admit that I was there several years ago, looking around, going, "This is not where I expected right. to be." Right. And I mean, what is it? You know, what, what are some things that you tell others? You know, what is it that pulls us out of that, or, or, or what, what could propel us forward through that? Well, a couple of things. I mean, one, and, and I always tell people this: one, you got to watch who you surround yourself with. I mean, because there's going to be people around you who are frustrated. I mean, the majority of people right now, uh, I saw a thing the other day saying 70% of the people in the United States are unhappy with their job. And think about how many people don't have a job. I mean, they're frustrated also. So a lot of these people, uh, they're not doing what they're passionate about. So the one thing that I would tell you to do is, is surround yourself with people that are passionate about what it is that they want to do with their life. I mean, that's the big thing. Number two is you got to trust yourself. You got to know that in your heart, you know what you're going to produce in your life. You know who you are. You know what you're gifted at. And that's what you got to focus on. If you're focusing on a lot of things to do, they're just like uh, uh, methodical things for you each day. You know, I know I need to do this. I know I need to do this. That's one thing. But getting up each day and finding what it is you're passionate about and even if you're only spending 10 minutes a day doing something that you're passionate about it gets you back into a, a, a different state you're more motivated you're more excited and, and you feel a lot better and when your physiology is different your emotional state's different it seems like the world around you gets into alignment and uh, you know it can be a slippery slope you get into it when you you start doing things that you're not necessarily that motivated to do and that's where burnout comes because you're not you know you're not your heart's not in it so find some people to surround yourself with trust yourself go with your heart and uh, and be and always watch what you're putting in your head watch what you're reading you know don't don't have the television on never I don't watch TV it's, it's, it doesn't happen in our house because it's, it's negative so watch what you're watching watch what you're reading and get around some people that can inspire you that's awesome man yeah well I don't know that you're ready to debut this yet but I know that you're working on some video blogs and some things yourself and uh, you know when the time comes I'm gonna make sure that we uh, let our viewers know that yeah man and uh, so sure. we'll have to have you back on here again awesome. but uh, really appreciate your friendship man yeah, and man. The time we get to spend with you and you're a true inspiration and for those of you out there you'll have to stay tuned for some more from this man Ronnie Doss uh, right. in the future and uh, don't go too far on YouTube you might sign, find some other strange videos he's filmed in the last couple of days <laughs> anyway uh, thanks for watching hope thanks, you guys, guys got something out of today and most of all I hope that just somewhere in there something hits you that causes you to change to do something different than you've been doing right. today so sure. Ronnie has no idea right. how we wrap this up but we're gonna do it anyway so one two three short sale, sale power hour short sale power hour crush it see you nice. Wednesday